He now readies to bring new meaning to the word come back. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Sports Saturday. I'm Nancy Newman. And I'm Tom Kirkland. Knew it all along. <laughs> How could a guy with that much talent, being that young, not come back? Hey, nobody can pull anything over on you, partner. <laughs> The official statement consisted of two words, I'm back, and with that, the sporting world took notice. Michael Jordan will once again don the colors of the Chicago Bulls. MJ's return to hoops has been a hot topic since he walked away from baseball less than two weeks ago. Since then, the media vigil has been relentless outside the Bulls practice facility in Deerfield. His airness practiced with his once again teammates today and will play tomorrow versus the Pacers. After practice, Michael sped away in his sparkling Corvette without speaking to the media. Coach Jackson, though, didn't miss the opportunity. He walked in this morning and uh, shook my hand, said, uh, you know, it's a done deal. We're all very happy about this. Uh, we think it's going to be great for our basketball club. We hope expectations, which are going to be high, aren't overreaching for what we have as a basketball club. We're just glad he's getting back on the court and going to play. Yeah, he's in an upbeat mood, and I think, you know, that um, he wanted a tape of Indiana so that he could watch them play. He wanted to know how they played. He wanted to know what we did against them, defensively and offensively. He was right into the game strategy right away. Well, I think after having him on the floor tomorrow, I'll, I'll be able to describe it. Maybe won't be able to describe it, but once we see him out there in that red uniform playing for the Chicago Bulls, that'll be the emotional moment we're, we've looked for and we've all waited for it. Michael will let his play speak first tomorrow. He will not talk to the media until following the afternoon tilt versus Indiana, Tom. So how would his peers react to the return of a man they couldn't stop? It's the agony and the ecstasy. Hey, welcome back and good luck. We're going to hold up, try to hold up our end of the bargain. We won't play them again unless they get to the finals. And like I said, good luck. Yeah, I think everyone's been expecting it the last couple of weeks. And I think it's great for the game and it's great for the NBA. And... Uh, I think everybody will be tuned in tomorrow to watch Michael play. We're just excited. I mean, from a fan standpoint, we're going to be fans a lot longer than we'll ever play this game. And uh, to see him come back, it's just going to make a huge impact on, on basketball and sports throughout the world. He looked pretty good playing against us in the day he practiced. In fact, I didn't see any uh, loss of skill. It's been the worst kept secret over the past week or so. But for a long time, most probably thought they'd seen the last of one of the most talented athletes ever in any sport. Once again, Michael Jordan's driving hard down the lane. It was just 17 months ago that Michael shocked the round ball realm by announcing his retirement. I just feel that I don't have anything else for myself to prove. But he did leave the locker room door open for a possible comeback. I think the, 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 the word retire means uh, you can do anything you want from this day on. So if I desire to come back and play again, Maybe that's what I want to do. Maybe that's the challenge that I may need someday down the road. Challenge? There was none left for him to meet. Jordan played in rarefied air indeed. Arguably the greatest basketball player to ever grace the court. A three-time NBA MVP, he won seven consecutive scoring titles, three straight championship MVP awards while leading his Bulls to the mind-boggling three-peat. And oh yeah, Jordan once scored 23 straight points in a game. That's an NBA record. But all the awards and attention only magnified Michael's every move and cut down his ring of privacy. And then his father's tragic murder in the summer of 1993 dealt him a blow most unkind. Michael called time out and quit basketball, only to begin a passionate pursuit of a career in baseball. But even in double A ball, Jordan was hardly an impact player, except in the stands. People came to see him by the thousands. He briefly stepped back into the hoop spotlight at Scottie Pippen's charity game. The last game at the Chicago Stadium. Rusty? Not at all. Then it was back to baseball, but hitting 200 wouldn't get him to the majors. And then when the baseball strike carried over to spring training, no replacement was he. Frustrated by the labor dispute, Jordan quit his baseball career two weeks ago and then began secret workouts with the Bulls. Well, make that not so secret. Would you like, would you like to see him come back? Yes, I would. I, I think that he would be a good addition to this. <laughs> Perhaps Michael's magic could conjure up another title run. It's an idea that's gaining steam in the Windy City. Steam the championship! By the way, the Bulls have been paying Michael his large basketball salary throughout his retirement, so they will have no salary cap troubles this season. 
But how much better are the Bulls with Michael back? Well, we'll look into that a little bit later on in the show, and it also raises some interesting points for teams like uh, Orlando in the East. It was supposed to be their breakout season. Will Michael steal some of their thunder? Yes, indeed. Check the pulses of those Eastern Conference <laughs> opponents. We're not all happy out there. <laughs> not indeed. We are selfishly as fans, Absolutely. but I don't know. More on MJ, as we said a little later in the mm -hmm. show. All right. Numi and I are calling our first time out to regroup. Coming right up, we'll look into...